Welcome to the Velvet Room. This is your progress so far. This persona, is this acceptable? Very well, it's yours. Are you finished? We look forward. please. Fushimi-san of Class 1C. The Student Council President would like to speak with you. Please report to the Student Council room immediately. I repeat. The President wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money too. Mitsuru? Uh, oh, I see. I didn't realize you two knew each other so well. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Good. You're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um... Miss President, I... I... just need to be brave. I, uh, I, I didn't do it. Well, I thought as much. You believe me? Considering all the work you've been doing for the student council, I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal. I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. Miss President, th thank you so much! That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the Student Council President. Give me a hand, will you? I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. Um, Miss President, I... I understand you must be under a lot of stress because of those unfounded rumors. I'm sorry I didn't realize it sooner. Leave the rest to us, Fushimi. You don't need to get involved any further. You've done enough. Oh, um, sure. Thank you. All right, you can go now. Sorry for taking up your time. Um, okay. Uh, I've done enough? Have I really? Fushimi? All I've done 
so far is rely on Senpai. And now I'm doing it to you too, Miss President. The truth is, I haven't done anything at all. <sighs> I told myself it would be different this time. And if I leave this for someone else to fix, I'm never going to be able to change. So, Miss President, please let me handle this. I'll go and speak with Mr. Takanozuka. Wait, Fushimi! I clearly remember what happened that day. You had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving. I also remember handing the fee money to you directly. Or are you really going to say that this is my mistake? Fee money? Give me an explanation right now, or else... I'm so sorry. You're right. It's, it's completely my fault. Everyone is suspecting me of... Wait, what? Well, the truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I've been meaning to bring it back here, but then I uh, completely forgot. What? What? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How... how could you? I know, this is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Senpai, I did it! I managed to speak my mind for once. And I stood up to Mr. Takenozuka, an actual adult man! Yes! Um, thank you for all your help. my fear of men, but at the same time, all I was doing was depending on you. I wanted to change, and yet it was always someone else who fought my battles. But this time, I was able to do something all on my own. I finally managed to take that first step. Now, I'm just a little bit closer to becoming a more reliable person, like you or the student council president. At least, I like to think so. Oh, that's right! I still need to thank the president! Um, do you think you could wait for me at the school game? Thank you. I'll see you there. Good evening. I'm pleased to see that you're well. <sighs> Your pills. <sighs> I noticed once again that a new ally has been added to the ranks. Well, I suppose it's more of a pet than an ally. Makes no difference to me. It seems what you told us of their intentions is true. How terribly lamentable. Now we have no choice but to intervene. <sighs> it is up to the individual how to use the strength they are granted. But to erase the Dark Hour would be denying the very power they possess. And that is the one thing we cannot permit. Fine. Do whatever you want. Hold up a 
a sec. What's your role in all this? We know they asked you to come back. You know, you're really starting to piss me off, nosy little shit. Yeah? Well, they're going down, you hear me? And if you're on their side, then you're going down too. Got that? I already told you, I'm done with them. I'll give you my autograph. It's always a pleasure to meet a fan. Oh my. It's so very difficult being famous. I can hardly go anywhere without being recognized. I'm sure you've seen the home shopping program, Tanaka's Amazing Commodities, yes? Allow me to introduce myself. That's right, I'm Tanaka himself. Surely you've heard the name. I'm afraid I can't offer any returns on your 40,000 yen, but I've autographed my business card for you. Hold on to that. It'll be worth a pretty penny in a year or so. Ah, uh, and with that, <laughs> I must be going. he realize he's in the presence of a star? Time is money, especially mine. Should have squeezed a few more payments out of him. <laughs> what do you want? Quit disturbing me. Get out of here. Shoo. You? You overheard me talking to myself just now, didn't you? You'll forget it ever happened if you know what's good for you. I belong to a powerful talent agency. I'm practically a celebrity. I have an image to maintain. Don't even think about telling someone that I took your money or called you a little brat, capiche? Ah, don't get cute with me. You think you can get away with anything with that pretty face of yours? Oh, <laughs> silly me. I've let you in on my little secret, haven't I? <laughs> uh, don't tell anyone, 
Okay? Please, I'll lick your shoes clean if you want me to. D d really? Did you promise? You better be ready to cross your heart and hope to die if you're lying to me. A verbal agreement is a form of contract. And if you breach it, I'll sue your pants off. I've got your adorable little face etched into my memory. Diamond in the rough, my boy. All you need is a little polishing, and you'll sparkle. I often take my breaks here. I'd be happy to mold your young mind whenever you wish. Thank 
in. Put your heart into it. You'll never beat Haya, say, with that attitude. Welcome back. Seriously? Very puzzling. The plants seem much livelier than they did when we started. Do you suppose they're happy that you are tending to them? Fascinating. There's no data on this. But it seems like you understand them. Hello, plants. I will be tending to you as well this time. Don't worry. I'll make sure to decrease my pressure output. But if anything starts hurting, just raise your left hand. Or rather, your left leaf. I had some prior knowledge of plants. But this was my first time observing them directly. These little seeds and buds in the earth can morph and change so quickly. Is this proof that they are living as well? How fascinating. I would like to watch these plants grow and document this experience for my records. I will tend to them with my full power. This took more time than I'd anticipated. I will need to run more simulations to ensure there are no delays next time. Late. We should head back now. Oh, it's you. Welcome back.
I'm looking Here are my requests. Oh my, you've already fulfilled the requirements. Oh my. Marvelous. Very well.
going on? There's a shadow in the city. Yamagishi found it unexpectedly. What? But the moon isn't full yet! It seems to be just a regular shadow, but there usually isn't any normal shadow activity outside of Tartarus. It's near Naganaki Shrine. Akihiko was already in the area, so he went ahead. I'm sure he can handle it alone, but we should be ready just in case. Gotcha. Yes, this is Yamagishi. I'm here. Sorry, but I think you guys better come quick. What's wrong? Are you in trouble? No. The shadow's been defeated. Or rather, it was already defeated when I got here. What happened? This little fella took a hit for me. I want to save him if we can. Took a hit? Who's he talking about? Don't ask me. At any rate, let's move out. We need to stop the bleeding. Man, he's one tough fighter. He defeated that shadow all by himself. Wait, does that mean this dog's a persona user? He says, this is a place of peace, so I protected it. There are flowers over there. Those flowers? They must be for the priest who died in the accident here. So he really was guarding this place. Okay, hold on. I guess. Don't tell me you can translate dog language too. Canines do not have their own language. However, speech is not the only means of communication. This fellow really is a rare breed. Correct. He's not the only one. All right, let's report to the chairman so we can conclude this mission. As for a vet, it's midnight, but I think I can arrange something. Good job, boy. You're one amazing dog.
lot of science fiction novels like this? Oh, wow! I guess it's good that I invited you today, then. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt while you were reading. If you don't mind, can you let me know your thoughts once you finish it? Oh, I didn't notice the time. How far did you get? Wow! You've read that much already? Huh? I made a lot of progress, too. Was I more focused than usual, or...? If you don't mind, do you think we could read here again sometime? I used to think reading was only a solo activity, but now, I think reading with someone helps me immerse myself deeper into the fictional world. I'm here whenever I can spare the time, so come by if you can. I'd be happy to have you. All right, that's enough for today. Good night. Things are really starting to liven up around here. So, how are you getting along with everyone? Oh, that's good to hear. Just to remind you, the next full moon will be in one week. Are you ready? I actually haven't been too worried about you lately, but you should still be careful. I'll see you again. This should be enough. There was a program on TV the other day showing how to make tender chicken breasts. Slice against the grain, marinate it in sauce, and then cook gently at a low temperature. I'm gonna reclaim my pride today. Just you wait. Thanks, you can count on me. I'll make it so good you'll be asking for seconds. So, we have to wash our hands first, and then you're in charge of the rice and veggies. Mmm! So tender and juicy. Way better than last time. See? This is what I'm capable of. I knew I could do it if I tried. <laughs> I can tell you like it, too. <laughs> that look on your face says it all. I couldn't help but laugh when you started wolfing it down. Oh, but you didn't actually say yum. Hmm. Anyway, let's eat up. We still have cleaning to do after this.
Oh, you're doing great. That's the fastest time on the team. Good luck tomorrow. You got this. I see you're back.